Hey guys, so today we're gonna be entering a shop called The Great Frog and I'm gonna be showing inside of it and all the nice jewelry which I thought really stood out to me. So yeah, follow me. guys so in the shop you'll be seeing some quality handmade jewelry which were inspired by the 60s and 70s where so many people such as David Beckham, Michael Jordan and I can't even name there were so many which I literally like yeah but like not that many people know that because honestly I didn't even know that before <laughs> yeah <laughs> I did my yeah. research before I came here so yeah could you just let us know more about it literally just yeah. casual stuff <laughs> yeah of course yeah so made in 1972 um, it's quite a sort of family-based company mm -hmm. so the guy who runs the company now his father Father created it so there's a lot of sort of like heritage and like sort of family heirloom around the company um, in this one obviously we've got loads of collaborations that we've done with like bands that they love so obviously the guy who these people because I'm so <laughs> they look um, so rock yeah uh, you've got Iron Maiden in here and um, like Motorhead so these are all sort of bands that we've collaborated with and used to make jewelry for back in like the 70s 80s oh, are they still alive till now um, not all of them <laughs> yeah I think it's very really valid I don't know if that's off of my head. Um, yeah, it's a little bit heavier for me. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, so I know some of them are. So this place is inspired by rock people. Yeah. But you know, mm -hmm. just to make something a little bit heavier. So like our skull rings, I've got like the eye oh, rings. So nice. That's oh, like, that's so nice. yeah, they're really popular that looks like ones. The evil eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. My little they're skull really, ones really from nice. here. So you got them from here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of sort of like alternative jewelry. Everything's made in silver. Um, like I said, our jewellery workshop is downstairs, so everything is made in the two stores in England and sent out basically across the world mm -hmm. to our LA stores and our Japan stores. But yeah, so, so how many shops do you have? So we've got two in Eng um, England, so we've got this one here in East and the one in Soho. Then we have a store in Japan and we have a couple of stores in America, in LA and New York. Okay. And that is it. Oh, wow. What is the most popular jewellery that you Ooh, guys have sold? That's really hard. I'd say the eye rings and the skulls get a lot of attention just because they're so unique. Which one are the skulls? Is it? So we've got loads of. Oh, sorry, okay. we've got loads of skulls okay, over there. Just the just skulls are out. really <laughs> popular as well. Yeah, so a lot of the skull ones, and then you've got. We don't have any eye ones, like the eye ones. Wow. Yeah, definitely the silver sells really well. Wow. So yeah, and then any other questions? And um, what really inspired the owner to have this type of shop? <laughs> do, do you yeah. know any of that information? Um, I guess because it was just a bit different to everything else at mm -hmm. the time. Yeah, and the sort of like the motorcycle, the wow. bikes. Yeah, why is that motorcycle? Because <laughs> they had it made for our Playboy collaboration, oh, okay. which we had. So you guys have different themes all the time. Yeah, so this was one that we did in, with Selfridges. Um, so oh, okay, it was in Selfridges okay. for ages, and now we've got it in this store because this store's a little bit bigger than our yeah. other store. Store. So yeah, that was made for the Playboy collab. Um, yeah, they love Mobikes. Wait, so you guys music. have collabs with Playboy all the time? I saw sort of just just at the moment. Yeah, that was wow. a recent one. I don't know. One, yeah. Playboy was doing stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. It was a bit random. Yeah, but, um, it was too random. Yeah, so we've done Playboy, and um, these ones here are actually ones we've done with a tattoo work called Emily Malice. The what little is that? The crab? Uh, scorpion okay, and like okay. the little <laughs> thing like that. Yes, yeah, so we do have like collabs every now and again. So why do you guys have clothing? Like, I didn't understand the whole contrast with jewelry yeah. and. Then so I what's guess that all it's about? just like extra match as well because obviously a lot of the jewelry is also oh, just extra merchandise, extra money. Yeah, 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 yeah I guess yeah, it's yeah. just and like if people don't maybe want the rings but want like the tote bags or the t-shirts so they can wear okay, it. Yeah, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Go. Okay, guys, this place is absolutely amazing. Like I enjoyed every single bit of it. The thing that struck me the most was Playboy. Can you imagine they did a collaboration with Playboy? I didn't even know Playboy was still alive. Like the last I heard of Playboy was back when I was young, and that was years ago. <laughs> but um, the collaboration with the jewelry and the motorcycle is bomb. Like I'll definitely like buy it if I got that like, the cash dollar you get. It. And also, especially with the eyes, 
the detail of the eyes. Ooh, like, <laughs> I saw it shining from a corner from a distance. It's literally so nice. Like, I will definitely recommend anyone who's interested in handmade jewelry to come here for sure. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Just keep expecting more from us. And yeah, it's your girl T. Peace out. <laughs>